Welcome to Gaia's Love, a podcast of brief messages to help humanity bridge the gap to the new earth. My name is Vivian Gerard. It is my delight to be a scribe for consciousness today, sharing the wisdom that flows through from source. Here we go. Episode 160. It is Friday here in Cincinnati. Sunny and beautiful outside. It's warming up. My son is on spring break. My husband is about to start spring break. It is such a fun feeling today. It feels like a holiday. My parents are headed over soon. We're going to go have a big breakfast out. It's a good day. It's a good day. So, I mean, they're all good days, right? They're all good days, but some just have more fun on the agenda. (laughs) Okay, today I... What? How do we begin? I was thinking about this topic of partnerships in my meditation time. You know, the full moon in Libra and what I've been sharing this week about partnerships that extend outside of the physical reality that we know here on Earth. And we all have those. We all have soul guides and loved ones who have transitioned, who we know still love us and connect with us from wherever they have transitioned to. And yet, um, and yet, (laughs) when I was feeling into this topic of sacred partnerships and real earthly partnerships, what I was thinking about is how very often we focus on, in human relationships, we focus on the things that make us different. You know, one person is from one country or from one culture, or they're the masculine and I'm the feminine, or they're of this age and I'm of the other age, or they're in the category of, you know, millennials versus baby boomers. And and so we focus on the ways that, you know, we are politically, religious, you know, we we see where we are different. And the differences help us understand or identify who we are and clarify what our interests are, what we are drawn towards. And so it's healthy to have these differences and these identifications and these ways of understanding who we are. And yet what I kept feeling this morning is, you know, if if only there was more of a focus on the the commonalities, the ways that we are alike, you know, the the places where we intersect, not the and come together or find the, the place. <clears throat> uh, let me think of a good example. It's like teaching my son to drive that I'm doing right now. When we come to an, an intersection, a traffic light, I found myself saying to him look at the situation in front of you and be aware of where those people on the other side of the street are probably going to go. So notice if they have their turn signal on. Look at the traffic that's crossing in front of you and see if there's more coming, like someone who might run a light or you know, if it's heavy traffic or light traffic. Like assess the situation as you sit at this intersection and then be prepared for what most serves you as you move into the space. As you drive the car into the intersection, what what are the likely things that could happen? And you're aware of them as you're going into that that next step. And I was feeling that this morning about this time of the shift from full moon in Libra to full moon in Libra, which maybe isn't a shift, it's just an expansion, more and more illumination. We... We often sit at the intersection and we're, we're angry at the person across because they're taking too long or they're not paying attention or they're on their phone or the cross traffic is going too fast or too slow or the light takes too long. We, we come up with all of these things to focus on when we're in 
places together that that separate us or that divide us or that push us further apart and what I was feeling this morning is you know if only we spent more time focusing on the things we all have in common the ways that we are actually very alike you know when the videos that usually touch me the most you know after disasters are when the individuals are just real people who have had some trauma or they've you know had a fire and they've lost their possessions and now they're just raw love needing support you know when when there are acts of terrorism or war we find that we are drawn together we are more united because we just get back to that basic human connection and the differences just aren't as important they aren't as important and yet the fact that it takes war or disaster or trauma for us to find that commonality and that's the part i wish we could we could change you know that we could find those connection points in just every single day moments and not need the catastrophe to have that bridge happen. The image that I have been um, seeing as I prepared for this podcast and the title, you know, kind of surprises me, but they often do. (laughs) The titles often are like, what? (laughs) But the title I got was The Translator. And I was seeing myself when, when I was studying abroad in Costa Rica, I was living with this beautiful family and spending a lot of time with this woman um, that I just adore, that's like a mother to me. And she spoke Spanish, obviously fluently, and just a tiny bit of English. And I spoke English somewhat well and Spanish not very well. And so I was learning in this, the weeks that I had with her, I was learning and practicing the language and just getting better and better at it. And then when I was studying there, my friend came over at the end of the study abroad time and lived with us for a week, stayed with us for a week. And I found myself in this role of translating, constantly translating to try to find the, the ways to show them where they were both the same, <laughs> even though they didn't have any way of really connecting besides sign language, you know, roughly trying to share some sort of symbol of what they were wanting to teach or share with the other person. And so I was just constantly translating back and forth and and trying to show them like, oh, you like this. Oh, and you like this. Oh, you do this and you do this. (laughs) To the point where I just had these massive headaches and like my throat would be raw because I was trying so hard to bridge, to translate for both of them the ways that they were actually supposed to be best friends also (laughs) and then when I went back and they loved each other clearly but they didn't have the ways to communicate (laughs) and and it wasn't working with me translating for them when I went back with two of my friends a few years later (laughs) it was even more so pronounced like (laughs) I just found myself constantly just trying to translate and you know everywhere we went I would ask the person in Spanish and connect it back to my friends in English and they would give me the answer in English I'd go back to the other person in Spanish it was just like (laughs) and and eventually everyone gets tired everyone gets tired of you playing that of me playing that role and they're like I'm just gonna go have my own experience I don't need the translation I'll just, I'll just feel it for myself. When I went back with my daughter, gosh, two years ago, when I went back with my daughter two years ago, she had studied a little bit of Spanish, and I found myself playing that role when, wherever we were. <laughs> and my daughter, you know, just didn't need it to be that way. She just wanted to kind of meander through places and figure it out and stumble a little bit with the Spanish that she knew and just be in the the feeling, the vibration of Costa Rica and of these beautiful people that I love. She didn't need me to play that role of translating. She found her own way to feel what she went there to feel. And 
now that she's back and she's in college and studying, she's spending quite a bit of time studying Spanish and has felt drawn to go find her own place for a study abroad program where she can experience Spanish. And so when I was reflecting on all of that, it, it brings the parallel to the work that I do here in this space, in all of my healing. I am translating consciousness and love all the time. I am, I am finding the feeling or the words of what I know is possible in this sacred partnership of, you know, life, source, God, <laughs> creator, humans, this planet of earth that we are in. It's, I'm constantly trying to translate energy and love and, and share that vibration in a way that can be understood or received by everyone who participates in this exchange in listening and receiving. And so sometimes I feel like I translate very well. <laughs> and then other times, other times like today, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> is it, is the message of love coming through? I think so. <laughs> but sometimes the I have to just laugh at myself because I know what I feel in this time of sacred partnerships. I know the doorways, the pathways I feel opening, the, the layers of uh, density and illusion that we have experienced on earth for so long that have us separate from each other, that have us separate from our souls immensity, our soul's power, our soul's strength. You know, we have believed that that separation is real, that we are just simply human form, <laughs> dense <coughs> mind body with a little bit of spirit perhaps thrown in. And, and what I keep translating or sharing the vibration of is you are so much bigger than that. You are so much more love than you realize that you are. You are such light. You wouldn't be here on earth if you weren't called to greatness, if you weren't called to this incredible experience of playing with mind and body and spirit. It is the most challenging experience available to us as souls, I believe, at this time. And here we are in the experience of it. <laughs> you know, sometimes we get a little tired. We get a little tired of remembering or trying to remember or trying to understand of translating. It's just like, oh, <laughs> let's just go take a nap. Sometimes that's okay. You know, that's the way that we, we integrate or expand. That's how we find the ways that we are more alike. We... We just keep moving through. And so my role as translator, you know, I, I do it the best I can and then also it's up to you. What's what's your experience of love? How do you find those intersections where you can sit and look at all the possibilities of what could play out in front of you and then with great awareness move into those intersections and have a more rich experience. It is, um, it is beautiful for me when I am doing this work of translating consciousness and then I have reflected back in different ways to me how that is impacting or touching people. So my daughter isn't going abroad to study Spanish because she wants to please me. She's going because something in her awakened and she has this desire to experience more for herself in her own way. And that, that is the greatest, um, it's not even reward, that is the greatest delight for me is when I see others feeling and experiencing in their own way expansion and love and 
their version of whatever it was I was trying to translate. <laughs> I feel like I'm really stumbling through the translation today. <laughs> but I'm just trusting that it's it's being sent to you in the highest alignment and that you're receiving it in whatever way your soul wants you to receive it. This time of exploring partnership and relationship and balance and seeing things perhaps with a new eye, a new lens, a new perspective. It's a magical time right now and I just encourage you to feel your way and to trust how you are being magnetized or pulled forward and know that it's exactly perfect and right for you and for where you are in your journey and we're all translating in our own ways and we're all doing the best that we can in the translation and maybe maybe we can remember that it's really all for fun you know when i when i was translating in costa rica between people that i loved what i most wanted was do you see it do you see how much do you see how cool this person is do you see how cool this person is do you see how much you can love each other <laughs> you know the translating was just because i so wanted them to see the beauty the beauty that they each were that i could see in them and so when when we're in this time of developing partnerships and feeling our way with the unseen with the spirit with consciousness just know like consciousness source god creator love <laughs> universal energy they simply want you to see how awesome you are and fall in love with each other in bigger and better ways it's the translating is just about showing the bridge of how awesome <laughs> Uh, I don't have the words right now. <laughs> I'm going to call it quits <laughs> for this Friday's translation <laughs> and leave you with just the vibration of it. It's good. It's really, really good. Have a beautiful weekend, everyone. Thank you for tuning into this vibration of pure love. I invite you to join me in aligning with the optimal health of your mind, body, spirit in the virtual community of Viv's Energy Gym. You can learn more at mysouljourney.com. Let's take this message of Gaia's love out into all of our relationships and communities today. So much love from my heart to yours. <laughs>